Okay, wow. The electrical storms. Oh my gosh. Did that penguin just get struck by lightning? Oh my goodness. So maybe we shouldn't be up here. I wanted to start the morning saying hello to the penguins before we started adventuring apparently 200 meters down to the twisty bridges in search of the alien sanctuary that our sister Sam wants us to find. Uh, but I wanted to some come and like say good morning to all the penguins. But jeez, I think I just saw a penguin get hit by lightning. That's kind of intense. I hope you little guys are going to be okay. <laughs> But all right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. And we are getting ready to carry on with our expedition and our exploring. But before we go down to the Twisty Bridges, which our sister has reported as being about 200 meters down, down which direction, I am not really sure, but hey, it's an adventure. I did want to go ahead and grab a... Uh, a Oh, what do they call it? Like a pathfinder, I think it's called. All right, I'm gonna need some creep vine for that. So let's go ahead and snag a bit of it. All right, a little bit right over here too. There we go. Is that gonna be enough? Probably, but just in case. Okay, so inventory is full now. Totally fine. We're gonna go back to my little shell and climb inside and fabricate ourselves some first aid kits and we're also going to try to grab, huh, what can I make? Yeah, fiber mesh. That's what I want to turn all of these into, actually. Here we go. Wait, what? I only had like three? Ugh. Okay, my inventory must be a lot more full than I anticipated. I wonder if there's a way to make a larger inventory. But yeah, I wanted to make some first aid kits and there's this pathfinder tool and I definitely wanted to make that before we actually head out because I got completely lost in the bloodroot caves and it's kind of a miracle we didn't die. But if I'm gonna have enough for creep vine samples, I'm gonna need some more storage. Decomposing creep vine sample. Huh. All right, well, it looks like we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves some waterproof lockers. No problem. I'm sure that the penguins would totally love to have some of my stuff. In fact, they'll just be decorations for the penguins. We'll make a couple of waterproof lockers and put them above a shell. I wonder if these like stay underwater. Let's see, maybe I can just tuck them like over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop it. Are you gonna stay there? Nifty, okay. And we can go ahead and fill this one up with titanium. And then let's swim over here. It's kind of like, <laughs> okay, you guys are gonna laugh, but it sort of feels like being Ariel and the Little Mermaid and just having my own little secret stash of stuff. So let's go back into shell. Neat. It's like I have my own little treasure cove down there. That's really cool, actually. In fact, speaking of treasure, hey, why don't we go ahead and get some of the gold out? Yeah, I've got a lot of titanium and gold. Holy cow, I am pretty sure we did see a penguin get struck by lightning with all of the lightning coming down from the electric storm. Hopefully it's not going to hurt them. I would be kind of upset if like a little penguin got struck by lightning. All right, let's go ahead and put our titanium in here. I'm gonna need some of that in a bit, actually, but gotta get the creep vine samples first. And then let's go ahead and open this. There we go. What better things to leave inside of my little treasure chamber than my gold? All right, gold, okay. I could probably go get more creep vine samples now. I'm gonna need a lot of them to make the pathfinder tool. So I should go ahead and leave behind the second high capacity oxygen tank. The battery that is completely empty can stay. And let's see, four, one, two, three, four, five. I should be able to get enough of them now. All right, off we go. Cool, got a new little treasure cove. That's kind of awesome actually. And we'll head back over to the creep vines. They are not too far away and blissfully free of stalkers, which is pretty pleasant. I guess they just don't enjoy the cold temperatures of the water over here. Is that all I can carry? I think I can have one more. Nice, all right, let's go ahead and get back over to Shell. And with this, we will easily be able to make the Pathfinder tool, which I will be very happy to have. 
All right. Nope, that's storage. Fabricator, please. Let's go ahead and make some fiber mesh. Wait, I didn't need the fiber mesh. Ah, oh, of course. Uh, okay, and now I just need that one piece of titanium, but I can turn the fiber mesh that I did get into first aid kits. And if we have any extra creep vine samples, I will turn them into more first aid kits. Then we can squeeze ourselves a bladder fish, grab something to eat, and head out. All right. And head out so that we can start trying to find what our sister told us to discover. Okay, that's right. That's my gold. And then right over here, one piece of titanium. Thank you. An alien sanctuary. It's kind of interesting that they actually have more confidence in leaving me with an alien sanctuary pathfinder tool. Uh, leaving me with an alien sanctuary rather than picking me up themselves. I think that really points out just how heavily Altera invests in alien tech and their confidence that the answers will be found in alien tech, but also their confidence that they are allowed to actually take over that technology. That's very interesting. All right, Pathfinder tool. I've never used one of these before, but hopefully it's pretty self-explanatory. Deploys holographic Pathfinder disks used to map a way back out of caves or hard to navigate spaces. Max 20 disks per path. Well, I hope I don't need like some fancy disks in order to use that. So we'll have to just see what happens. All right, there we go. And does that use up everything? And we're good. Okay, so this has a full charge. Let's go ahead and swap out the repair tool and put in the Pathfinder disc. I want to have my survival knife ready to go and my scanner, of course, so that we can scan some of the cool creatures we might stumble on. Do I know anything else? Nope. All right. Yeah, we're going to want some water. We're going to want a little bit of food. Let's catch some lunch and then we can head out. All right, where's lunch? Maybe I should go hang out with the penguins and see if they've got something. All right, oh hey, a boomer, boomerang fish. Nice, in fact, let's actually go ahead and put away my sea glide for a second, even though it makes it easy. Come here, little guy, to catch food, because I do wanna save the charge on that. I do have an extra battery, but still. All right, come here, buddy. Ah, and there we go. Nice little bladder fish to squeeze. Anybody else? Oh, look at all of them. The Picards are just so beautiful as they play and swim around in circles under these really interesting vines. And hey, I, I think that, oh, and it ate a fish. <laughs> I think that if we follow them, these interesting tubular vine things, then we'll eventually find our way down to the twisty bridges because it's kind of self-explanatory. Like, it's literally creating paths for us to follow. All right, where are my bladderfish? Oh, there's one. But jeez, it just is so beautiful here. I had to admire it for a second. All right, come here, buddy. Yeah, like, what about over there? Oh, beacons! I was going to actually make some beacons. I remember now. Well, let's just go ahead and see what it would take to make a beacon. If I have it, I might do that so that we can mark where we're supposed to go for the twisty bridges. But otherwise, I'm kind of ready for some adventure. All right, we'll just get some cooked boomerang really quickly. There we go. Nice, and some water. And then we'll be ready to go on a little adventure. About time, too. All right, cooked boomerang. And we'll take a quick glance. Beacon, copper ore, and titanium. All right, all right. Uh, I've got at least that much. Oh, and I almost forgot. We literally almost left without checking and grabbing our other O2 tank. That would have been bad. I'm really glad we thought about this, actually. All right, Sea Glide, get over here. Copper, get over here. The other O2 tank, is it full? Yes, it is, okay. So we're ready there. We've got a beacon, so we'll be able to figure our way around. And let's get out of here. All right, so I think these are the twisty bridges. Oh man, actually now that I'm looking closer at it, those kind of look like eyeballs. Oh, they look like eyeballs. 
eyeball branches. Whoa. Or really cool barnacles. I'm going to say they're barnacles rather than eyeballs. And where are my penguins? All right, they're, they're doing okay over there. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and start exploring. The first thing I can think to do is just follow this area. Keep an eye out. Oh, well, I could probably use that bladder fish, but we'll see. All right, there's a glacier over here. Have I already scanned this piece? I haven't. Also, the water is already a lot deeper than I expected. Oh, hey, it's a peeper. I haven't seen one of them for a little bit. Yeah, the water's actually already deeper than I expected, but I'm not gonna panic. And we're just gonna carry on exploring through this glacier. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. Like I said, Sis obviously has a lot of confidence that this is the better direction for us to go. All right, there's another one. Here we go. Okay, all right. This is totally cool. It was this close to me the whole time. Uh, look, there's another piece of the technology. Maybe we'll get like coffee credits or something if we keep scanning it, since it seems to be oh so important to the altar. <gasps> what are you? Oh my gosh, and what are you? And why are you glowing? Like, you look like angry little red eyes. I don't know about that. Oh, okay, those are just my feet, jeez. <laughs> Starling myself with my own feet, that's fine. Okay, I can't scan this puppy. Is that another one of the oxygen plants? I think it is. Hi. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, noted. I should probably get moving pretty quickly then. Wow, though. Like, wow, oh boy. And there's something that looks like he's- That definitely looks like a shark. That definitely looks like a shark. Okay, then. All right, we unlocked some sort of database that definitely looks like a shark. Um, do you see his teeth? Because I see his teeth. I don't need to be able to see his teeth any closer than this. Whoa, okay, but we need to go down 200 meters, huh? Let's go up now that I know where to go. I'm gonna drop the beacon so that I've got an example of where the twisty bridges are. Was something following me? Cause that looks suspiciously like being followed. Okay, it's my, literally my very own shadow. <laughs> Yeah, well, if you were down here with these teeth, you would be worried about things, too. All right, let's go ahead and drop the beacon. And there we go. Do you work, buddy? How do I assign it something? Hmm, configurable name? All right, well, hopefully I'll be able to spot you. Wait, is something over there? 100 meters that way? That's interesting. Something is actually showing up 100 meters that way. Whew. Well, all right. The only way to handle this next part is just to dive in and start swimming. So let's do this. <laughs> 